Hello, friends. Today we're talking about the basic weekly plan. In fact, we're talking about seven days of basic weekly plans because every day there's a different thing to do in our basic weekly plan. In our three layer cake, my version of the Fly Lady system, we have routines, we have basic weekly plan, and we have zones. We also have clutter checks and toy checks and planning in our planner. But today we're talking about that middle layer, basic weekly plans. The basic weekly plan on Monday is to do your weekly home blessing hour. It takes one hour maximum. Don't fib to yourself and tell yourself it takes longer because it does not. If you have a 3,800 square foot home or, or another large version of a home, just know that you're only going to clean five of the rooms, the most used rooms, like your bedroom, the hallway, the living area, um, maybe an office, maybe a child's room. Just pick five rooms. Those other rooms, those rooms you don't use too much, or if you have a huge family, the big kids can take care of those big their own rooms or share and caring for some of the uh, communal rooms. But for you, you're going to pick five rooms and you're going to work in each room for a total of 10 minutes. Um, I mean, you're going to work in all five rooms for a total of 10 minutes for each of the six things that we do. So let's go over them. You're going to strip the beds or bed, depending on how old your children are. If you have nine-year-olds or older and you feel that they're qualified to wash clothes, which I feel they are, the average nine-year-old can play the heck out of a game. Their manual dexterity is fantastic. They're pretty darn strong. They do flips and back bends and pick up their brother. And they're not dumb. They're pretty smart. They can figure out, if you show them how, how to push the buttons on the washing machine and the dryer, how to take it out and put it in the washing machine and the dryer and take it those off and take them to their room. You might need to help them with the corners of a fitted sheet, but they can basically do that job. They can also wash their own clothes. A nine-year-old, yes, indeedy. So if you've got a 12-year-old who's never intended, never uh, ever tried to do such a thing, it's time for you to say, I am so sorry I didn't teach you how to do a big job, uh, a job that you should have been doing since you were nine years old. Come on, let me show you how. And show them how. Let them enjoy the process. Teach them how easy it is. The machine is washing the clothes. The machine is drying the clothes. They have to deal with the clothes after they're dry, sweet, and clean. While they're still warm out of the dryer, they're folding them or hanging them up or putting them on their bed. That's your attitude, too. And that attitude is going to be reflected in your children. You have to have a good attitude yourself. So 10 minutes stripping the beds and getting things in the washing machine. It probably won't take that long. Or if you're going to let your kids do their own, you're going to maybe assign them a different day. But strip the beds. Put those sheets in the washer. Let them go. Don't put new sheets on the bed. Don't waste time. Listen, your time is important. So don't waste time putting on folded sheets and now you've got to fold the sheets once they come out of the dryer and put them away. That's a double waste of time. Just put fresh, clean, soft, sweet sheets right back on your bed once they come out of the dryer. Okay, second job in the weekly home blessing hour is to dust. Dust the whole house in 10 minutes. When I say the whole house, I mean five rooms, those same five rooms. Dust them with a feather duster. If you don't have one of the excellent feather dusters that Fly Lady sells at flylady.net, I don't make any money from this. I'm just telling you the, these are the most excellent fly dusters or feather dusters that I've ever used. They are pricey. They're about $40 a fly duster, and you only need one feather duster. You only need one, and you might catch them on sale. Sometimes they're on sale for $27, but I will tell you this. Mine typically last 10 years. So if you dollar cost average that over 10 years, that's somewhere between $2.70 and $4 a year. If you're buying Swiffer, wipey things, it's going to cost you a whole lot more than that every year. So the other thing that you want to use this, uh, a feather duster for is because we are not doing a thorough dusting during the weekly home blessing hour. We are just dusting. We are blessing the house. So when you use a feather duster, 
the feather duster is long and tentacly and has lots of beautiful little tiny, teeny, tiny feathers on it. And your items are sitting on the dresser and they just kind of go around the items. You don't have to move them and wipe the counter or the dresser and then put each thing back and then go to the next thing. You just go and go to the next thing. And children can actually do this. It's very rarely will you knock anything over. They're, they're very delicate and they just go down in there and grab the dust. They don't spread dust because they're not cheap. They're good feather dusters. 10 minutes, you can get your whole five rooms done. Two minutes a room. Then when you're done, you have to clean it properly. Take it outside, put that wooden dowel between your hands and do this and the little head will just shake or you can shake it or you can hit it on your hand like that and get all the dust out and put it away. Take care of it properly. The third thing we're doing in the weekly home blessing hour is we are wiping the glass. That means we're just getting spots off the glass. We've got 10 minutes to get it done. You can pick five rooms, knock yourself out. Go, 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 go. Now, in this case, you're gonna add bathroom mirrors. Bathroom mirrors and any other place where the dog or the children have put their hands, noses, or feet <laughs> on glass and wipe that off. 10 minutes, you're done. Then you're gonna empty the little garbage cans in your house. Just empty the little garbage cans, take the little liners out, go put them in the garbage, put a new liner in. 10 minutes, and then you're going to Vacuum the floors. I recommend a Bissell little tiny stick vacuum. It's not a super duper heavy, heavy duty thing. It's got a little canister container on it and you just vacuum the, what they call the traffic patterns in your home. You're not putting beautiful marks in the carpet. You're not using a heavy beater brush kind of thing. That's for deep cleaning. This is blessing. Pick five rooms, vacuum those rooms really quickly, two minutes a room. Last thing is to mop the kitchen for three minutes and mop the bathrooms for two minutes each. And you're done. That's the weekly home blessing hour. You might be able to do it in 30 minutes. I dare you to do it in 30 minutes. If your house is 1,500 square feet or less, I know you can do it in 30 minutes. Okay, that's the weekly home blessing hour. On Tuesday, you have a free day. On Wednesday, you do planning and desk day. It's got four parts. Food, finance, and box and planner. So you deal with your food, you go and check your fridge, you throw away things that are not good, you look and see the things you need to use up, you look and see what you need to put on your list, maybe you're out of eggs, maybe you're out of butter, maybe you're out of yogurt, whatever it is. Then you're going to look in your freezer and your pantry and from that you're going to create a menu for the week. And if you're missing things to complete the menu, that's what goes on your grocery list as well as if you're running out of toilet paper, paper towels, diapers, whatever, wipes, okay, dish soap. So that's your list and you're gonna place your grocery order. So you're gonna know how much money you're gonna spend because you placed your grocery order online. You don't have to push send, you don't have to send it, you don't have to sign up to have it actually ordered if you don't want to, but it'll give you an idea of how much money you're going to spend, it's pretty close. I encourage you to push the button and let it go so that you can just go pick your groceries up the next day or have them delivered or in two days or whatever. All right, that's grocery, that's food. Finance is checking your budget, checking your grocery budget, checking your other budget. How are you doing on all that? Balancing your checking account. How are you doing in your savings accounts? You've got to be aware of your money every week. Then you're going to look in your inbox and look for any action items that you put in there as a result of going through your paper during the week. Any action items, anything that came in the mail that required paying or calling or planning, needs to go in your planner, you need to call somebody, you need to make an appointment, whatever. Then on the last part of that, so you've done finance, food, finance, inbox, it's your planner. So get your planner out, now that's the time you're going to put those things in your planner. And plan from Sunday to Saturday on a weekly home, on a, um, on an at-home homemaker's schedule. If it's on a, well, it's actually the same for payroll or at-home homemakers, but planning week, Sunday to Saturday. Those are putting things in your planner that are different every day or different that particular day. Routines don't need to be written down over and over again. You can put them in a single spot in your planner, but things that are different, it's weekly home blessing hour or it's uh, planning a desk day. And then across the top, what zone we're in, Zone two, the kitchen. Zone three, the ba the other room. Zone four, the master bedroom, etc. That's going to go at the top of that week's calendar. So you know what you're doing that week. And that way, when you look at your planner, plus put your meals at the bottom, when you look at your planner, you're going to know what you're supposed to eat. You're going to know what you're supposed to do. 
and you know how little time it, little time it takes. Okay, so that's planning a desk day. Then we've got errand day. That's just where you go pick up your groceries or have them delivered, and maybe you need to run to the post office or you need to go to the library or whatever it is. And then the um, last day of the week is is car and purse day. Clean out the things out of the car that don't belong in there. That's just a couple of minutes. Do it every week, and then also go through your purse. Get rid of those things that you don't don't belong in there and give it a little clean out and a wipe off. Saturday is family fun day. Sunday is renew your spirit. And then the last part of the three layer cake is to, um, well actually that's it. The last part of the three layer cake doesn't matter. We're talking about the weekly plan. So that's the weekly plan. That's what you do every single Monday, every single Tuesday, every single Wednesday, etc. Payroll homemakers, you do yours a little bit differently. I always address it on Saturday, but I'm going to address it again real quick. For, for a weekly home blessing hour, I want you to do that on Saturday morning, unless you have time during the week to do a one 10 minute article for five days and one on Saturday. Then you've got to do your zone four 15 minute units, one hour on Saturday. So that's up to two hours on Saturday. Your planning and desk day will happen on Sunday afternoon. You can pick up your groceries on the way home from work or delegate that or have them delivered. Uh, car and purse day can happen on your lunch hour or your break. And family fun day happens after the work on Saturday and renew your spirit happens on Sunday. Super easy. So that's the basic weekly plan, seven days a week. I hope you enjoy this. I hope you make it fun for yourself and I hope you see a huge difference in your life by making sure these things happen because these are the things that keep you on the straight and narrow. It keeps you financially stable. It keeps you your home looking neat. It keeps you um, feeding your family on a regular basis, etc. So enjoy the, the basic weekly plan, embrace it, and always remember that you are beautiful. So be beautiful.